it's an interesting time at the moment. Um, lots of uh, fear and uncertainty, uh, but we've come together as a team with Lindsay and Ben um, to try and encourage and equip you to do youth ministry where you are in your context. So, Lindsay, why don't you kick us off? What's the good yes. news? Well, on uh, the 13th of April, we're actually going to be launching with a, a whole new resource, which from the outside will look like we are talking and communicating with young people, which we will be. But um, for our youth workers, it's going to be this amazing tool and model that we can use uh, to talk digitally to our young people in our communities and our parishes. So there's an article that recently, probably about three, four months ago, was written in Premier Youth Work magazine and it was by a guy called Tim Olford. Many of you might know him. Um, and he starts off by suggesting that if we are to outreach to people in Africa, um, we would learn the language, we translate Bibles, we would do a whole load of different things to prepare ourselves to go um, and meet that group of people. Um, yet when it's young people that are in our own kind of context, in our own um, kind of spheres of influence, we forget the fact that there's a whole bunch of life um, that we won't understand, that we need to translate um, what we're saying, uh, particularly around uh, faith and God to those young people. And a whole bunch of their lives, because um, they are now digital natives, is based online, on social media. And so we wanted to take a bit of time, um, give a load of thought to how we might model this for you. Um, so that actually you're, you're not just meeting them on a Sunday or midweek on a, in, in a group or even um, a kind of youth club or if you're doing detached youth work, but to, to do something in between that allows you to um, connect with them, to continue to love them, to share who Jesus is to them. So framework is this beautiful little kind of package that means that we are taking different bits of what would be a traditional youth work session and starting to, to translate that into, into social media, um, posts and, and stories so that we can see young people engage with it in a different way. And there's this beautiful saying where someone says that doing youth work online allows you to get that little bit of extra time with our young people, that extra time to talk to them about God, but actually right now it might be our only time, our only opportunity that we can talk about God. So that's why we're bringing it forward to tell you about it so then if you see it and like it you can maybe can feel equipped to go and do this yourselves over the next coming weeks and months. So how is this going to work? Good question. How is it going to work? Well, we looked at um, a typical youth group, a very basic youth group session where you would have your welcomes, you know, to find out how uh, a young person's had their week, how their weeks have gone. You then might move on to doing a game. You'll have a, a Bible talk, prayer time, and then something to take home. So then it doesn't just finish at your session. So we looked at this really basic way to run an hour long youth group and I've split that over Monday to Friday. So every day we're being intentional with how we're posting and taking those different elements to uh, to determine what we're posting. So on Monday is going to be our how have you been more informal? Here's things that have happened over our weekend. Tuesdays are going to be our game days. Game day. Game day. Game day. Game days. Wednesday, we'll have a one minute short talk that Ben will be doing. Thursday, we've got prayers. And on Friday, that can be a little bit different. That could be a mixture of challenges, some worship songs, just things that they can use to take home uh, and do themselves. So that's the general model of it. How many of you have one of these? Ooh, we all have a phone and they all have good cameras on them now so we can film with them and we can record what we want to do. That's essentially what we did with some freebie apps yes. and some other beautiful little things like a little bit of time, but not loads of time because let's be honest, we haven't got loads of time, uh, particularly for volunteers in churches. Uh, so so we did it. we make in the framework is using our phone and those free apps that Ben's just said we're using mainly like Canva, InShot and Hootsuite as well because he's busy, he's busy, I'm part time, you know we're all really time precious as are most of you guys. Hootsuite is a brilliant way that you can film all your content or take all your pictures and then for free uh, schedule them so they can go out on the days that you're not going to be there or be present or days that are going to be tricky which is just there's so many amazing phenomenal things so we wanted anything that's been made on the framework to be done using th free things in a clever way um, so then everybody could see how easy actually this is to do. We put together a little promo video for you so you can have a little glimpse of what our framework is going to look like um, and we're excited to see what your framework might look like. Let's take a look at that now. It's game day! Cheats! Oh. He's a cheat! It's horrible, isn't it? It's... Oh! I'm living on fire! We 
we often think with prayer that it's got to be deep and meaningful and long-worded. Say, like, God, what, what can I be praying for that? They look really busy, they look stressed. The other thing that gets a piece out is that we're going to use today may actually be a piece of paper. Yeah, it's a little bit light. Yeah. 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 Do you guys have any encouragements and uh, what's going to come up next? We have helpfully tried to put together some information gathered from different places in a document entitled COVID-19, Self-Isolation and Ministry of Young People. We've gathered, tried to gather some stuff together that helps you look at how one you might use social media, so what we've talked about today, but also how you might use uh, things like Facebook Live, um, Zoom, stuff like that to create almost sort of um, youth group spaces online um, so that you can actually continue to meet. The other thing for us is that um, the youth provision development team, so that's Andy and Oprah, we've been writing some blogs along the way, hopefully they're helpful reads, hopefully they kind of just, uh, yeah, are resourcing more than anything um, what you might be doing with young people um, and helping you look at this slightly differently. Um, because this on one hand is a really difficult time, on the other hand it's an opportunity in ways that we've not seen um, in, in actually ever um, to use um, online online options for meeting, for getting to see young people and, and to be innovative ultimately and to do things very differently. Um, obviously remember to do that safely, but this is a great opportunity. Awesome. So that's the framework. We're really excited about it. And uh, don't forget to uh, tag us in your versions of the framework as well, so we can see what is going on all around the digital space.